Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is because one of my subscribers requested a detailed outline of the six month hair growth channel. So if you want to see this detailed outline of how we're gonna go about growing our hair for the next six months, stick around. So one of you asked me for a detailed outline because you weren't sure what the six month hair growth challenge was going to be about and I it's my bad it's my bad sometimes like I get all excited and I begin to talk and I go off on a tangent like right now but <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys some details today about how we're going to do it so I would have spoken about this in the last video which I will link here and in that video, I basically told you guys about protective styling, using good products, etc. But I didn't go into details about how we're going to do it step by step. So let's begin by saying that this six month hair growth challenge is really six months of protective style and treating your natural hair as best as you possibly can. So the first step is choosing a protective style. Now there are so many different protective styles. Currently I'm wearing small knotless braids and they're really long, they're really nice and they're really light. There's no tension on my scalp. You can do medium size knotless, you can do large knotless, you can do crochet braids. Any style that really helps your hair to be tucked away as long as your hair is nice and protected, that's a good protective style. Once you've chosen your protective style, even before you get your hair done, you're gonna have to do some things. You're gonna have to ensure that your hair is properly cleansed. What do I mean by this? Well, personally, I shampoo my hair twice. Some people, they use apple cider vinegar. Some people opt for clay mask. Whatever it is that you use to cleanse your scalp, ensure that your scalp is cleansed, that your hair is cleansed, and that you have a nice cleansing routine. Then you're going to want to ensure that you're deep conditioning and treating your hair. Now I did a deep treatment mask and I'm going to link it here. If you haven't seen it, you can go ahead and watch it. But basically this is just a nice mask that you can use on your hair before you begin a protective style so that you just fortify your strands, give them all the nutrients they need because they're going to be tucked away for about a month. And then you want to ensure that you're doing deep conditioning treatments. The difference between a treatment mask and a conditioning treatment is that the treatment mask can be a protein treatment, a conditioning treatment, a combination of both, but it doesn't necessarily give you all the moisturizing that you need. So you can do a treatment mask, follow it up with a deep conditioning. And for deep conditioning, really, you can just use the conditioner that you buy at the store slap a mask on it I mean slap a cap on it and then you're good to go you can buy a deep conditioning product as well so you cleanse your hair you do a treatment mask you deep condition and now your hair is ready and it's time to prepare your hair for braiding now before you braid your hair always always use a moisturizer so this is the aspect of the six month hair growth challenge that most people uh, would not have picked up before. So for this six months, I'm gonna be trying this cream of nature, something, another, I don't know. It says cream of nature, curl prepare leave-in, locks in moisture for dry damaged coarse hair. How do you define coarse? Well, I'm not going to get into the semantics of this today, but I decided to try this because I really, I don't know if I like Cream of Nature's products for my hair, but I decided and I decided that I was going to try it. It was not cheap. Why did I buy this? I should have just bought something else for this price. <laughs> this is not cheap, but it's whatever. So I decided to give it a try. Now after I wash my hair and I treat it and then I deep condition it, I always add a leave-in conditioner and the leave-in conditioner is just one, one step in, in hel helping to ensure that your hair for the rest of the six months is always moisturized because you're going to be doing long-term protective styles. So I use this leave-in. I don't know, 
can you see it is it right is it yeah anyways I use this leave-in and then I follow up with a few drops of my jam curls henna and hibiscus hair growth oil don't worry guys this is just like the bottle that I use in my videos like the bottle that I actually use is <laughs> is like it's depleted but whatever so yeah so I just use a few drops over it I don't drench my hair in oil uh, if you watch my length check video you'll see me adding the oil to my hair and you'll see that I add it to my hand first and then I massage it into my hair I don't add too much because if you use too much oil in your hair and on your scalp you can clog your pores and you can also dry out your hair but always after doing this I always go ahead and add my oil to my hair and then my hair is ready to be braided I often go ahead and blow dry my hair but if I'm blow drying my hair then I add the leave-in blow dry my hair and then I add the oil I don't usually like to add heat to my hair after adding up an oil and I mean like it goes without saying but you know sometimes somebody has to say it so I'm gonna say it. don't add oil to your hair and then add heat you know it's a no-brainer anyways so <laughs> Now that your hair is prepared for the protective style, you're going to go ahead and get your protective styling done and then you're going to ensure for the one month or two months that you keep this protective style in, you're also caring for your hair in that protective style. What that means is that you're going to have to probably find some way to apply moisture to your hair. Uh, at least once every two weeks uh, I know some people they do it every three days but once every two weeks because your hair is in a protective style it's not really losing moisture as fast it's not being manipulated so putting in moisture is necessary but you don't have to wet your hair as soon as you get your style done so about two weeks after I get my style done I'll go ahead and I'll get a spray bottle I don't even have my spray bottle with me yet. I'll get a spray bottle and then I'll add water halfway and then I'll just take a few scoops of this water did I say water water I'll put some water in there <laughs> so, so stupid I'll put some water in there and then I'll add a few scoops of this just a few and then I'll shake it up and I'll spritz my hair and after spritzing my hair, I'll scrunch it like this, like a scrunching motion. And that is just me trying to ensure that the moisture gets to the hair. Now, if you're doing crochet braids, I would recommend that you spritz the roots so that the hair that is on your roots can get moisture. Uh, some people are gonna say that you know if you get the hair wet it's gonna mess up your protective style but the purpose of the protective style is literally to ensure that your hair grows and is healthy so I mean I like when my protective styles are neat and everything but I also prefer if my hair is moisturized you know so I'm gonna wet it two weeks in cuz like I have two weeks of flashing and neat and you know but then after two weeks I'm like okay I'm done my hair needs some moisture I'm gonna moisturize this okay so that's what I do <clears throat> two weeks in I get that done and then when the period of this protective style has ended I generally start all over again I go back and I cleanse my hair and my scalp I do a treatment mask again I do a deep conditioning treatment I'll go ahead and I'll apply my leave-in conditioner I'll blow dry my hair add some oil and then I'll do another protective style I generally only have maybe two to three days in between protective styles oh I do my hair myself I'll just put that as a disclaimer I don't pay money for this hairstyles that I do <laughs> because you're probably spending that kind of money I shouldn't say that let me let me say that back so I generally I do my hair myself and I've been doing it myself for a very long time and it takes time to learn to do your own hair I would recommend that you take the time but if you don't have the time pay a styler I know some really really good stylers so if you guys want to get their information I can just 
you can just ask in the comments and I'll share the links with you and if you're a good styler drop a comment in the video and I guess persons will be able to reach out to you so that was the detailed outline of how this six month hair growth challenge will work before I start the six month hair growth challenge what I normally do is a length check the purpose of the length check is just to see where my hair is and see if I need a trim and like just guess what my hair is gonna be when it's done and if you guys haven't seen my lens check video you can go ahead I'll link it right here and you can go and check it out so the length check is just so that you guys can see where your hair is where my hair is I like to do them because like I'm just like oh my god my hair is right here and then six months from now I'm like it's gonna be right here but that's that's unrealistic it's probably gonna be like I'm not gonna say it let's see let the, let's see let, let the challenge be done and we will see so yeah if you guys want any more details on how I'm going to be doing this challenge just leave a comment below and also I'll be doing check-ins if you've been following me of lately I've been uploading videos that are basically check-ins so I checked in with my treatment mask I checked in with my um, what was that thing that I did oh my god I'm losing it I checked in with my length check and then I have another check-in with the braiding I did record some of that but guys sometimes when I'm braiding I don't want the camera in my face I'm just exhausted my hand has been up all day so you guys will just have to wait and see what I have but yeah so I'll do check-ins on how I moisturize my strands while it's in the protective style so if you want to see and if you want to just be a part of it and follow up and you know leave comments and show me your journey just go ahead and follow me on Instagram at jam curls and tag me in your photos or you can do hashtag jam curls and I'll see it and I'll share it so let's do this together we're gonna grow our hair for 2021 so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to leave a comment <laughs> see you next time